day two of the program. He had to get his sunglasses on. He wanted to look cool. But, uh, all right, so what the plan is, it's like 8 o'clock. I've been up since 5.30 this morning. I couldn't couldn't sleep. Uh, not because of shooting. That's not it. I was tired, overtired or something. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to head out to the side end range. I'm going to check to see if it's open. Uh, I want to check that gate, uh, the J. Kenny lifter, to make sure everything functions with that. Uh, there have been some guys that haven't really tested them and had issues with them. And there's some guys that have been testing them, so I want to make sure I don't have any issues. I'm also going to do something else too. I'm going to switch up to a 77 TMK bullet and see if that makes a difference. Uh, we've got some winds that are swirling. We've got some shots today. They're 550 yards or so. So I want to see how that goes. Go ahead and get that done before I start shooting at 12. So we'll update you then. See you at the range. So we're testing out this J. Kenny lift. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's for a Benelli. And what this does is when your shotgun locks to the rear, when you load, it will auto feed one into the chamber. So what I want you to see is there's nothing in the chamber. There's nothing in the tube. So if you were to completely run out of ammunition, let's say you do a reload, you put this in here, now it's going to be hot, empty, do a reload, ready to go. You don't have to worry about the little silver button. So it does seem like it's effective. I don't know. I just installed it last night. It's not something that I think you should do in, in a match or anything like that in the middle of a match. But right now it seems to be effective. It uses a two-part hinge here. You can see this little hinge part. It took about 10 minutes to install. Not that difficult. I think it's a great addition. They'll run about $220. Five nine one nine. Five, nine, clear. Rifles clear one, and flag. All right, guys, first stage of the day out of the way. Had the fastest squad time. Uh, did really well. Had one malfunction with the shotgun. I don't know. I can't attribute that to the J. Kenny lifter because I was using some Rios, and the shotgun that I'm using is kind of known for uh, malfunctioning with Rios, if you will. But uh, rifle was pretty solid. Pistol was pretty solid. At a time of 55, I'm good with that. I think the closest person in the squad was 68 or something like that. So really satisfied with it. Let's head on to the next stage, the all shotgun stage. Shooter, are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Unload and Alright, the Jack Kenny lifter let me down. Stand by.
Far left. Five hundred. Yep. Set. Four fifty. I'm done. Time one zero five point two six. All right, guys. So I've uh, been done with the uh, last stage of the day. It was a lot of pistol shotgun and rifle the pistol ran well of course uh, no issues with the pistol running that defender ammo the shotgun i had an issue again i think i'm gonna have to get a stronger spring i was told that, that spring that lifter likes a stronger spring the rifle did well on that i was actually i was stage one on that right yep yeah so i was a stage or squad winner so all in all looking good have two more stages tomorrow no more long range what happens yeah, so it's really really hot out here and i wanted to show you that the cold air the best way that i could so what i'm going to do is there's a guy over here that had a cigarette and i asked him if i could borrow one so here we go watch so this, this is like 90 degree air you see all that smoke is going to the right but all i'm going to do is i'm going to drop it down look at that cold air and it just pushes that smoke just straight down you see that i mean almost dead straight that's how cold that air is it's just shoving it straight down and the temperature after we got shooting today this is the end of day two Bryson and I jumped a fence and we have been looking for a cave. We know there's one around here because this used to be an old uh, tourism place. We've probably hiked about two miles, but I think I see it right over there. Maybe, we don't know. Uh, we're gonna see what we find out. It was dark, looked like it was a good chance. We have these huge boulder, these rock formations here. We've been walking for probably two hours. Nobody knows we're out here. We're on this property. Uh, yes, I've got a GPS watch. I'm not going to get lost. But I uh, was able to come down here, and we've been walking, looking at the depression, the terrain, you know, because typically when you're going to find an entrance or you got a cave system, you'll have a, a belly depression. It looks like a bowl. And look what we found. On that road there, or pathway, or pathway, we found this old structure here, and that is an entrance to a cave. So... Let's go check it out. Hopefully we'll be safe. All right, guys, so coming down this, and this is an old structure. Everything is rotted out. Coming down this, we're going in. Oh, man, the temperature just dropped like crazy again. And we're going to see. We'll get uh, we'll get some lights on. All right, guys, so just coming down that ladder. And this is a tight little squeeze here. I'll show you with Bryson. But... Uh, Make sure I don't come up on Mr. Bear or anything. I don't know if there's enough light for you guys to see anything coming through this little hole. This is definitely not made for big people. That's a big man. I feel like so this got me thinking, yeah, it's been two hard days of shooting. We're tired, but do something. Find something to do. Like I said, this just started as a look. I know there's some caves out here. Let's go find some. And we're at a place that, did you just start that? <laughs> yeah, I started. Uh, but to be in a, a cave like this, that's this long, is actually pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, glad I got to do it and experience it. But uh, we never know how long we're going to be here. Enjoy every minute of it. You know, untouched. untouched. All right, guys, so we've been walking for a while now. All right, guys, so uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little beat, but uh, I'm gonna work my way out of this. Tight fit. Ah, oh, shoot. Watch your head, that's why you wear a helmet. and being birthed out of a cave. Because <laughs> America. Because yeah. America. Can't even see him. Still black. Put your head. 
into another good day. Stick around. Tomorrow we got two stages left. Start in the morning, leaving by two.